Okay, so today we're going to show you a 16 by 32 DX Okamoto. Uh, this is a three axis automatic, uh, programmable downfeed, semi programmable downfeed. Uh, machine is currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. Uh, it's hydraulic. The base of the machine contains the hydraulic uh, compartment as well as the hydraulic pump and piping and it also has a coolant tank here on the side and um, <clears throat> so let's go over the machine itself so you've got your controls here this is for your table left and right you press that in and engage the gear and you can move your table uh, same with the cross slide you have to press this in and then as you turn it in and out you move your cross slide when we're going to go automatic there's a safety switch here so you always got to make sure uh, that that's out it has a spring here and will spring out, but sometimes you just have to make sure that it's out. And the vertical feed is done in two ways, three ways, by the program or by the rapid up and down selector switches or by the, the manual pulse generator or the little hand wheel. Uh, so you've got, uh, we're going to go ahead and start it up. This is the hydraulics. Over here you've got your hydraulics, your spindle. So that's the pump. That's the spindle. This would be the coolant or the dust collector if you had one. Uh, over here, you've got a table stop. And we get the table going. So right now, I've got a couple of things on the chuck. And they're stuck on there, so I've got to get them off. So you have a DMAG thing here. And then I can get it off. All right, so we can put the magnet back on. And then you also have a, a, a variable control, whether, you know, the, the, the power of the magnet. All right, so the grinding wheel is running, the table's going back and forth. The slide, or the, the saddle, is going in and out, uh, what they call continuously. That's one way you could use it. Some people grind like that, just going zigzagging across the chuck. And that's controlled by this here. I can stop it, or I can put it into a, a stepping mode. This is a more conventional way of surface grinding, where you make a step at each reversal. The amount of the step that you're making is adjusted with this valve here. The more this uh, nipple protrudes, uh, the, the deeper or the longer your, your travel will be. This is for the table. Not this, but this. This will stop the table any way you want to stop it. You have the option of a park button, but the park button is always going to make it stop there. So if you wanted to stop the thing for whatever reason to dress your wheel, then you stop the table like that. You put your little magnet dresser on there, and uh, this machine is very easy to go in and out. You can dress your wheel. One, two, three, and you're done. Okay. So let's, uh, where are we? Okay, we start up the table. And we can park it. So you got over here a mode selector switch for your, man for your vertical. You have a rapid where we can speed up or we can wrap it down. You want to be careful. Uh, you have a window here, I mean a digital readout. You can set this. Uh, Reset it to zero. You have a manual pulse generator, so you can set this thing on some finer increments and come down as low as 10 millionths at a time or as much as one tenth at a time. Each pulse here will be one, one thousandth, excuse me, 0 0.001. So in this window, <clears throat> when you go to the edit mode, which is over here, it says stock removal, you put a value in. This is the only position that it allows you to put a value in. So let's say I put in, uh, I put in 10 thousandths. You also can do surface grinding as well as plunge grinding or, or slot grinding. You have two slot grinding options, one where you feed on both sides of the part or well, one where you only feed on the one side. Um, so we're going to do that one first because it's quicker. 
So you have a little program that they want you to put in here. You've got two things. You've got the coarse feed and the fine feed. And if you don't want to have two feeds, you can just set uh, the fine feed to zero. And it won't have a fine feed. But if you want to have a fine feed, we're going to set the coarse feed over here at one thousandths each pass or each reversal when it uh, feeds down. And we're going to make the fine feed uh, a half a tenth. So these two are used to set that. Now this one here is used to set when it goes from the coarse feed into the fine feed. So this is the changeover point from coarse to fine. And then you have a spark out, zero to eight or zero to five. And it doesn't mean anything, but it just one is longer than the other. Uh, it does what it wants depending on where it's at. And you'll, you know, it just, so we're going to start this up. I'm in my uh, plunge grinding mode. What I need to do now is start the cycle, which is to flip this switch to the next position, which is the auto grinding. And then each pass, we're going to feed down a thousandths. We can see that. When it gets to be one thousandths from zero, it'll switch into the fine feed. And again, if you don't want to use that function, because uh, you could just feed from the beginning a tenth or two tenths, whatever it is you want to remove. Uh, you know, not necessary, necessary to have two feeds. So now we go into the fine, and then it'll go to zero, and then it'll make a certain amount of empty passes until it's uh, ready to park itself. And then the cycle is over. This is set on two right now. I would usually put it on one. Okay, so now it's over and your program is gone. That this doesn't retain that little program. Now that you have to take your parts off or make sure they're the right size. Um, and then your next job, your next, uh, next parts that go up there, you've got to touch them off again. And in the edit mode, you have to enter in here the amount of stock removal that you need to, to, to finish your workpiece. Um, so that's, that needs to be understood. And there it is. That's a nice looking grinder. Let me uh, show you a quick uh, surface grinding mode. You just have to flip this switch over to traverse. We're going to start the table again. And uh, it'll start going. I'm going to shorten this up. Over here you have the same kind of dogs to set this thing. All right, so I got to put a value in. I didn't put a value in. Uh, so we got to go back to stock removal. And let's say I want to take off, uh, say, four thousandths. Now I got to go into the auto, <clears throat> excuse me, auto. And when it reverses, it'll feed down the one thousandths. And we go to three. So it's pretty easy to program, get used to it pretty quick. Now we go down to two, and we'll do that all the way down to one, and then if you want, you can have a fine feed. If you don't, you could just, obviously you're probably not going to take a thousands off at a time. This is just for the video. So now the next down feed increment should be less. And for the first one, it does some kind of internal mathematics. Uh, and all right, now it's now you got one tenth left. What? Let me do one. And anytime you want to stop this, you just hit this button and it'll come to a stop. So there you have it. That's the Okamoto uh, 16 by 32 DX. I hope you enjoyed this training video. Uh, thank you.